Greetings from Mission Control Houston and welcome to Space Station Live. It's Thursday, October 24th, 2013. You're joining us here inside of the International Space Station Flight Control Room, the Johnson Space Center in Houston, Texas. Inside the room right now, the Orbit 2 team monitoring and supporting the astronauts on board the International Space Station. They're being led right now by Flight Director Dina Cantella. She's in the uh, right side, uh, right next to another Flight Director, Jerry Jason. At the Capcom position right now, we have two astronauts supporting, serving as a communication link between the teams here and the astronauts in space. They are Steve Bowen there on the top, and right next to him is NASA astronaut Kate Rubens. And the astronauts on board the crew, Expedition 37, led by Russian cosmonaut Fyodor Yurchikin there in the front row on the left. Going across the back, we have NASA astronaut Karen Nyberg and Luca Parmitano from the European Space Agency. And next to him, NASA astronaut Mike Hopkins, and then two Russian cosmonauts on the end there, Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rosansky. On board the International Space Station on both the U.S. and Russian sides, a lot of work being done on spacewalking preparation and suits. Starting off with uh, NASA astronauts Mike Hopkins and Karen Nyberg, the two are spending pretty much their entire day today performing a remove and replacement activity on one of the fan pump separators inside of one of the EMUs, the extravehicular mobility units, the uh, large white spacesuits that all astronauts wear on U.S. based spacewalks. You can see some video from a little bit earlier this morning. We'll have extensive uh, footage of that work today. I'll also be talking to one of our uh, spacewalk flight controllers uh, on the activity getting some more inside information and as they continue to do that task that again taking up much of Mike Hopkins and uh, Karen Nyberg's day today. Also in that view you can see uh, European astronaut uh, Luca Parmitano who is uh, wearing the spacesuit that they're working on. Uh, all of this uh, EMU work uh, being done ever since that July 16th spacewalk when Parmitano uh, discovered water leaking into his helmet that again back on July 16th. Aside from uh, giving them a quick hand with that, Parmitano today uh, working with uh, the circadian rhythms experiment, looking to understand how uh, the bodily changes of microgravity affect the astronaut's circadian rhythms, or basically their natural sleep cycles, and how the body is able to adapt and perform, and uh, any effects that it has on the health status of uh, long duration crew members. Aside from that, he'll also be stowing a few of the uh, EMU tools uh, once Nyberg and Hopkins are finished with their remove and replacement work today. Also doing a, an exam on his eyes with the station's fundoscope used to measure the retina health of these astronauts during their time on board the International Space Station. Meanwhile, on the Russian segment, Expedition 37 Commander Fyodor Yurchikin uh, continuing a series of maintenance tasks which has been uh, dominating his schedule throughout the week. Today he's collecting surface samples uh, looking for any uh, microbes or uh, various uh, other uh, small trace elements uh, along uh, surface elements inside of both the Zarya module and the Russian Zvezda service module. He'll be taking these samples from uh, all the different equipment and structures inside of each segment. Meanwhile, Oleg Kotov and Sergei Rosansky also focusing pretty heavily on some EVA work as they get ready for Russian Spacewalk 36 coming up on November 9th. The two will be activating and inspecting their Orlan spacesuits, which the Russians use uh, during their spacewalks. They'll also be recharging the water systems and the batteries inside and doing some checkouts of the Piers docking compartment where they would be staging the spacewalk from, uh, doing some leak checks on its systems, and also uh, doing some checkouts on the suit interface equipment inside. Aside from all of that EVA work, uh, Sergei Rosansky also uh, waking up early this morning to do some more uh, saliva and blood collection for the ongoing biological experiments taking place on board. But again, uh, the vast majority of astronauts on board today focusing uh, all of their efforts on uh, work for upcoming spacewalks and also repair work for past spacewalks and to prepare the station uh, space suits for future spacewalks as well.